Good morning. All right. Now let's see if we can get this thing started. Good morning. Good morning, Kim. How you doing? Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. <sighs> it's going to be a good day. We're having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only live past crazy special. So what better place to be than here with me? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are ready to get this day started. Hope you had a great weekend. I know I did. I put this up because I'll be playing in it. Good morning. Hope you were safe. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you enjoyed the sunshine. It was an absolutely beautiful weekend. I bought flowers, plants. Here lately, I've become the plant lady. And I have them everywhere. My kids are like, Mom, no more plants. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, please make sure you share the show because uh, sharing is caring. And if your friends and family do not have Facebook, send them over to the Fearless Morning Show. They can binge watch all of the Fearless Morning Shows over there. All right, so let's get right into um, the quote of the day and the thought of the day are actually the same. And I read this in a book. So I, I used to do leisurely reading all the time. Like I am, I'm a nerd and I love murder mystery novels. Those are my favorite. And I haven't read like just a leisurely book just to be reading something. And I couldn't tell you how long. But I read one this weekend. No. Whatever. Over the weekend. Friday, I think. And I came across came across this quote that is going to be both the thought and the quote of the day. Because I was like, it made me, it was so good. It made me stop reading the book. And here's the quote, and it's in the book um, by Dan Brown called uh, Inferno. No, uh, it's called um, Symbols. So um, here's the quote. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea Simply because it's miraculous. I love that quote. Do y'all, let me tell you for me what that quote meant. And hopefully I can explain it to you in such a way that's going to help you. I've never, I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. When I thought, when I put that in the, in the context of me, because I'm always going to do Jojo. How many things have I have I not opened my mind up to or have I not accepted or thought that I could do because the idea was too big for me to comprehend, it was too big for me to understand, or perhaps I thought it was going to take a miracle to achieve it and I never started on the thought idea. How many of us, I can't be the only one. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. And it made me think, Jojo, how many ideas have you shot down because, oh, it's going to be so hard. Oh, I, I can't even begin to do that. Good morning, Miss Leah. How many of us, we've never even opened up our mind to our own possibilities because we assumed it was too miraculous for us to have or obtain or to figure out. Now, when I read this in that book, I immediately, I closed the book and I had to stop and think about it. Like, and I had some serious thought and I could go back and list things out that I did not continue on. Because my mind would not let me comprehend that I could do that thing. I could, I could easily see things that I had not done. 
I could see places I had not went to. I could see promotions I did not even take, even after someone suggested that I do it. I didn't do. Simply because my mind found it far too complex for me to handle. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. So on this miraculous Monday, this uh, wonderful Monday morning, if it's raining where you are, I hope you get some liquid sunshine today. But think about, seriously, today, or write down, what have you missed out on simply because in your mind you could not possibly conceive that you were the one to do it? Or you thought that perhaps I'm never going to be able to comprehend that thing or obtain that thing. I think this is earned a spot on the wall of quotes. I have learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. So on this wonderful Monday, can we not close our mind? This mindful Monday, can we not close our mind to things that are miraculous? Can we? Because I know I say all the time, like Jesus, we're looking for a miracle and we are the miracle, right? But if we are the miracle, then you've got to open up your mind to the miraculous that you can do it. How many people you can you can look think right now that you you didn't take a job, you didn't date a person, you didn't say something. There was something you didn't do because you couldn't comprehend at the moment that you as Jojo or you as whoever could possibly comprehend and or do and or obtain a thing because it was too big for your mind to wrap your head around it. It was too much of a miracle for Jesus to do for you to even think that perhaps you could do it. So you just didn't even open your mind up to it. How many of us have passed up on jobs, relationships, opportunities, friendships, whatever, because our mind was closed to the idea. And it was close to the idea simply because we couldn't comprehend a miraculous event happening to us. Man, that don't stuff like that don't happen to people like me. Have you said that before? She's so lucky. I could never get that. I could never do what she's doing. Why not? Have you closed your mind to that concept? I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. We should then be excited because it is making us question our immediate environment to push us outside of our comfort zones to obtain the more. Or even, not even obtain the more, but understand the more. We should embrace that feeling. And I'll be the first to say, uh, and I think I read this on Friday. If I look at my notes, it, I think it was on Friday night. It might have been Saturday. I didn't go to sleep at 3 a.m. Saturday morning, which is technically Sunday. But I was reading this book. It's really good. And it made me think about all the things that I have not done because I could not come. My mind was not open enough to understand that, yes, JoJo, you could do that. <clears throat> yes, JoJo, you can do that. Yes, so you can be a mama. Uh-huh. Sure can. Why are you closing your mind off to that? That you can be a parent? Why do you assume it's just not going to happen? That's not that's not fair to you. That's not fair to whoever made because you already put restrictions on your future. How do we do that? How we put restrictions on our future? I no, no, I could never do that. You've already restricted your future. You've already put restrictions on your blessings. You've already told the good Lord, yes, I know you said I could have it, but no, you didn't mean it. So I'm just not going. How does that work? So we've got to open up our mind to the possibility of the thing. Because if you're not open-minded to even... <clears throat> 
no, at least allow the idea to drop inside that you are worthy of that thing, then it, it shall never come because you attract what you think. If you think you don't deserve it, it's going to be like, oh, okay, well, let me give you what you want. You don't want this because you said you don't deserve it. So let me go to the complete opposite because she doesn't want this because she's steadily telling me she doesn't want this. Or you are, you are convincing yourself that it can't be you. It can't happen to you. I've been guilty of that. I have friends in the military. Uh, if Kiba is on when Kiba joined the military, I don't think I even knew Kiba joined the military until after she'd been in there for a while. I was like, oh, Kiba, I could never do that. Why Why do I say that? I just closed my mind off to a possibility. Oh, I, I could never be a singer. I could never. Why are we closing our blessings off before they even have a chance to formulate? Remember we talked about planting seeds. Good morning, Tiffany. We talked about planting seeds last week and you're in that dig deep and, you know, get the foundation. Why are we closing our mind to our blessing before it can even, before it even has a chance to grow? Before it even has a chance to grow, you've told yourself no. So you blocked everything that could possibly be yours. You intentionally killed it on your own. Good morning, Kiva. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. And that's in the quote. That's a Dan. Well, can we say that's a Dan Brown quote? It's in his book, Symbols. One of the characters said it. Robert Langdon, one of my favorite characters. Never close your mind to anything simply because it's miraculous. You are a miracle every day. And when I wrote that list down, and it was about 10 things on that list, right? And I wrote that list down of things that I've passed up because I assumed that I could not do it. Or I assumed that I was not good enough to do it. Or I assumed that I couldn't have it or it couldn't be mine. And I had all of these reasonings. And here I am negotiating my blessing down from what it was supposed to be. Yes, Lord, you told me I had dominion over the whole earth. Yes, you told me to go be fruitful and multiply. But I, I, I can't multiply, Jesus. Well, you know, because I'm single and because in this. And so you negotiating down your whole blessing on purpose. And so here we are living a less than life on purpose. <laughs> guilty. I'm so guilty of that. So on this wonderful Monday, it's going to be an amazing day. What are you closing your mind to simply because it requires you to think in a miraculous way or in a different way or for you to be open-minded to comprehend something else? We say all the time you got to be open for the more. And some of us are open for less. We open for all things less. Oh, no, I can't do that. No, I, I can't do that. But it's hard. But Jojo, you don't understand how old I am. But you don't know I haven't done this yet. And, I, and so I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to agree and say all of your excuses are valid. They are. You are older. I'm, I'm about to be 45. Yeah. All of my excuses are valid. But am I committed or am I interested? Please go listen to Grant, um, Grant Cardone 10X. Uh, it's a book or listen to any of his videos, but he says, if you're interested, all of your excuses will be valid. If you're committed, none of your excuses will be valid. Meaning there's nothing. I knew I was a single mother. Didn't change the fact that I won that master's degree. I knew I was a single mother. Didn't change the fact that I was packing up those kids and moving anyway. Yes, I knew this was hard. It didn't change the fact that my destiny is not changing. So are you interested? Are you committed? Yes, you can be older. Absolutely. I don't care how old you are. You can say, but Jojo, honey, sweetie pie, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm 74 years old. I'm 75. And I couldn't possibly 
You stopped yourself right there when you said you couldn't possibly. Nobody put that restriction there. You did. If life and death is in the power of your mouth, you kill yourself daily every time you open up your mouth and tell yourself what you cannot do. Every day, you're killing a little piece of yourself when you open up your mouth and tell yourself <clears throat> what you cannot do. It seems hard. It's because you are stretching yourself outside of what you normally do. Of course, it's going to be hard. And is it really hard? Or is it hard staying where you are? It's got to be hard to maintain living less than. It's got to be. Let me not accept any more to this. Then my portion on it. Whoo, I want to make sure I ain't accepting no more extra blessings the Lord going to throw my way. I don't want the same blessing that I got at 10, at 20, at 40. I've grown, right? So don't your blessings grow? Don't your abundance grow? Your mindset should grow? On this mindful Monday, should we not stretch ourselves just a little bit to possibly comprehend something else i've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous you can't put age restrictions on that if you uh, if if you're a guy's girl and whatever you believe in whatever entity universe whatever you believe in if you're going to put restrictions on it with your age why are you believing in it if you're putting restrictions on it because of your age, why are you believing in it? Whatever your religion, whatever it is you believe in, there is some story inside of that that is miraculous that was not supposed to happen, but it did. Or the person was older or younger than what they were supposed to, but it happened. So why are you praying if you don't believe it? So on this wonderful Monday... It's going to be a great, great day. Open your mind to the miraculous. Let's do that. Let's be mindful of what we tell ourselves we can't do instantaneously. How can we say we believe in a higher power that gives us the divine and we are divinely made in his image, but you never step into that? You never even exercise your right as a citizen of the kingdom. Because <laughs> if, you, if you're God's kid and you live in the kingdom, you have certain rights. And you ain't exercising none of them. And the king is steadily telling you, uh, you, you can come sit at my table. And you can have anything you want. You ain't even got to ask. Because as the citizen of my kingdom, it's my right to take care of you. It's my privilege to take care of you. And so you have all the abundance that I have. Oh, no thanks, King. I'm, I'm just going to stay right here in the muck and the mur, and I'm just not going to. But thank you for thinking of me, but I'm not going to do that. Even though you said it is mine, and it's your responsibility, and as a citizen, that's what I get. But no, no thank you. I'm just not going to. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Then why do we believe? What are we believing for? You've got to be open to the more. It doesn't matter your age. And if you say, but Jojo, I understand what you're saying, but that's for everybody but me. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you. Okay. Okay. Because if you have already convinced yourself of that thing, there's nothing Anyone could ever say to change your mind to make you open to the more that is already yours. It's not that you have lack on purpose or that it's not there for you to receive. It's simply because you just assume you, you can't have it. You've got to open your mind up to receive it first. So on this wonderful Monday, this is what we're doing from now on. We're never going to close our mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. We're going to say, thank you for the idea. This is a miraculous and wonderful idea. Thank you for choosing me to carry out this idea. This thought process. 
this manifestation. Thank you for gifting it to me. We want to be a good steward of all things, but not our blessings. <laughs> How are you going to be a good steward of all things, but not your blessings? Or not the miracle that you assume you cannot have. You got to be a good steward of your mind. You have to be a good steward of your mouth. And all of that means that you got to pay attention to what you put in and what comes out. And you've got to be open for the more. You've got to be open for the more. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. Why not you? That's the, instead of saying, why me? Say, why not? If not you, who? If not now, when? Somebody, who? who is somebody? When is someday? What was the quote from Thursday? One day, a day one, you decide. So is today your day one? On this wonderful, absolutely one. It's going to be an amazing Monday. It's going to be a good day. I want you to list out those things that you have closed your mind to because you assumed it was too much for you to do. It was, And here's the thing. And I want us to take it to the basic of, of simple. It's not too much for you to do because the thought was given to you for a reason, on purpose, because you're the one that was supposed to do it. That that thought that you had that was like, man, I could change the world if I did that. It was given to you on purpose. And then when you had the thought, you got scared of it. And, and here went your excuses. I, I I can't do that. Mm -mm -mm. But, I, but I don't know how, but you don't understand. I, I'm about to be 45, but I can't. So you were gifted with the thought. You were gifted with the idea. And you still said no. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. See, I, I'm a firm believer that we are all millionaires. Every last one of us. We are millionaire by association. First of all, our entire families are millionaires. And then you are a millionaire in your thought process. And the only reason why it has not come to be or come to pass is this quote. You have closed your mind off to any idea simply because it was miraculous. You have a million dollars in you. Even if a thought hasn't, like, judged, and here's the thing, you're thinking, Jojo, you're expecting the heavens to open up, God himself to come down and give you a thought. And it Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes as you seeing something, you're like, that would work so much better if they did that. And boo, there it is. We make it so complicated when it's really quite simple. And let me show you where your miracles are in your family. And if we as a family could learn this, millionaires would be in the making every second of the day. So you have, let's, let's say four people in a family, right? You got the mama, the sister, we'll put a daddy, the mom. No, we don't want to do, we got one family, you, your mom, your daddy, and a kid. You got an auntie and a mom and daddy kid. You got another auntie. Mama, daddy, kid. Another auntie, mommy, daddy, kid. So you got your mama and her siblings, and they all have kids. And in each household, you have mortgage or rent, light, water, gas, car insurance, car payment, daycare, food, accessories, cell phone, cable. You got all the bills. So in one household, you pay out, you pay out about $2,000 a month. Multiply 2,000 times your five family members, right? You got 10. And then multiply that by your 12 for the year. So imagine if all of you guys could live together. And y'all, stay with me. If all of you guys could live together, so there's one mortgage instead of five. There's 
one insurance instead of five. There's one uh, internet instead of five. There's one source of food instead of five. And we are all sitting on millionaires. And then you have your money all pulled together. So then when you hit that first million, which at that point should be within a year or less, you take that money, you buy another home, and you bring the rest of the other family members in. They pull their money together. You take some money out and you buy the next home. We're all millionaires. We simply refuse to open up our mind to the possibility that we could do whatever it is we want to do. We haven't opened up our mind to the miraculous. And sometimes the miraculous is not hard. It is hard because our mind has not been exercised to think differently. Our mind has been conditioned to say no, to think that we cannot, we shall not. <clears throat> You've been conditioned and you have believed all of that. And so it, it's difficult to change that mindset. So you have that millionaire idea. We are a millionaire family all together. There are several millionaires in our family. But if we never open our mind to think of the miraculous, that we could do it, it will never happen. And then that's where we say your, your dreams die inside of you. So on this wonderful Monday, can we not close our mind off to anything because it's miraculous? You have that. The idea was given to you for a reason. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Tiffany. You got to be. This will this will be on my on my computer. Even though it's earned a spot on a wall of quotes, I need to look at this every day. Because every day sometimes you need to be reminded. Jojo, don't be closed minded. Mm, mm, mm. No, no. And please don't put don't allow your age to make you closed minded. At all. I may be 45. Soon to be 45, but I still feel like I'm the 12-year-old that climbs trees and sings and dance on, on my daddy's carport and pretend that I was a ballerina and a gymnast and hold live. I used to hold concerts in my daddy's house every Saturday night and Sunday. I had my own microphone. I had a keyboard. My sister played a guitar. I lived my whole... There was no restrictions because he did not believe in it. Come on, Tiffany. Multi, if you got more than one idea, you are a multi-millionaire. It's plain and simple. And if you try to complicate it with anything else, Langston Hughes, Dream Deferred. Go read that poem. You are, you have those ideas. They came to you for a reason. Don't allow, as I was saying, don't allow your age to make you think that you cannot accomplish it. In my mind's eye, I can still climb a tree like I did from 12 to 16. I, yes, I was climbing trees at 16. Sure was. Mm -hmm. Fell out of one. <laughs> Fell out of one. I think that's why I hurt my back. Fell out of one and landed on the tree trunk. And a branch landed on top of me. I was sore that day. Guess what I was the next day back in that tree. I had no concept of restriction. My mind had no concept of any rules that it could not do. We're not millionaires because we have self-imposed restrictions. Because we've not opened our mind. You know, I got some millionaire ideas and I need millionaire friends to help me. And you guys, the Fearless Morning Show, thank you so much for joining, are millionaires with me. Now, if you assume, hey, Jojo, are you crazy? I ain't a millionaire. Then I'm. I'm. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about that with you, because I need you to be open minded just for a minute to understand that just because it calls for a miraculous thing doesn't mean you can't do it. It means you. You can. That. It. It. it oh, good Lord! Come on, Jesus. If you had the idea and it's a miraculous idea, then you are the one to perform that miracle here. Come on, y'all. If it is a miraculous idea and it came to you and you're open-minded to receive it, then you are the person to bring it to pass here, not anybody else.
nobody. It wasn't given to anybody but you. That idea is yours and yours alone. And you are the miracle worker for that. Oh, come on, Jojo. Mm, mm, mm. That made me cry. A to the man. I got my whole life. We cannot close our mind simply because we think it is a miracle and we're not the miracle worker to make it happen. That's so unfair to yourself. That's unfair to everybody looking at you. That's unfair to everybody connected to you. We are millionaires. And we have not, not because we ask not, not because we ask amiss. We have not because our mind is closed to the possibility that it could be us to do it. And it is that simple. We're making it hard. We're, Judge, you're making it so hard. Like, you're making it so hard. And no, Judge, I got to go through this. Now. It is simple. Thank you. Come on. Come on, Tiffany. If he gave it to you for a reason, I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. My mind is open to all things. I have $3 million ideas right now, and I have not acted on it because my mind was closed, and they made it on my list Friday night or Saturday, whichever day the days run together. And I'm over here thinking, oh, Jojo, that's just too big for you to handle. When everywhere I look, I see it. I'm just saying. On this wonderful Monday, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great day, y'all. We, we are about to change our lives because we've got to change our life first before we can change someone else's. We got to control our chaos first before I can help another sister understand that her chaos can be controlled. I got to work my miracle first so that I can show a sister, boo, it ain't that hard. Let me show you how to work that miracle. What's your thought? Let me show you how to work that out. And on this miraculous Monday, mindful Monday, we that's what we doing. That, that's our goal for this week. That's our goal for this week. I want you to write out your millionaire idea. Write it out. Don't and here's the thing, don't be scared to put it on paper. Jojo, this this so crazy. Like, and don't and before you write it down and get that paper, write it without thinking. Don't be thinking, Jojo got me up here writing this. Man, I don't even know how to put in the words what I'm trying to say. Put the pen to paper, the words will come. There's a Bible first. Let me tell you something. My first time ever speaking to anybody about domestic violence, about anything. I put myself out there to this lady and then because she came to my job and she was trying to get some girls hired and blah, blah, blah. And something told me to go outside and chase. I chased that lady down the hallway and told her my name. And I was like, I'm looking to help women who, you know, because I know what it's like to go from welfare to work. And that's what it was. And I was like, I would love to come talk to your group. She's like, oh, you would? I was like, yes. Had no clue what I was doing. I, not an iota. iota. No idea. And then when I pulled up, and Bible scholars, please find this verse. And I don't know where it is. And I pulled up in front of the building. Because I took, I did this on my lunch break. I told my job I needed an extended lunch break. And I went there on my lunch break. And I had been, now I had a two-week window. And I could not think. I was like, why did I even open up my mouth to say I could go talk to these people? I don't know nothing. Who am I to be telling anybody anything? Well, I, I I don't know. I'm still struggling. I'm still living paycheck to my paycheck. And then I pulled up at this place and I had 30 minutes to go inside. And I was about in tears because I had nothing to say. And I always have a Bible in my car. And I opened it up. And I don't, I, I want to say it's in the New Testament. But I opened it up. And the book opened up to this verse. And it was quite, here we make it. And here Here's a perfect example of me trying to make something big when the words were so simple. I read it three times like, where's the rest? But where's the rest of it? It said, open up your mouth and I will put the words there. I was like, okay, but yeah, but, but where's the rest of it? And I read it again. It said, open up your mouth and I will put the words in it. 
But no, there's got to be something more. So I read that four times. Open up your mouth and I will put the words in. So you mean to tell me I'm to go in this building and just open up my mouth and you're going to give me some words? Yeah, it, it got to be harder than that. It's not. Yes, it is. Why? Because it got to be harder than that. Y'all ever talk back to God? It got to be harder than that. Because all you said was, up your mouth, you're going to give me some words like Jesus. I know I said I trust you, but dog, that don't even make no kind of sense. But I was out of time. So I had to stand on that. So I went in there. The lady introduced me. And when I opened up my mouth, the words fell out. And when I tell you I cried afterwards, I was like, it was really that simple? I had no idea. And I'm not, I wish I was joking and I'm not. I had no idea what I was going to say. I literally opened up my mouth and the words fell out. Thank you, Kiba. And I was like, oh, well, if I'd known it was that simple. But here I was wasting time arguing about something that's already been given to you. How much time, how much more time are we going to waste? Because I know so he tired of me. Like, Judge, how much, like, you don't wasted some years. Can we, can we pick up the pace, boo? Can we be quick on the uptake? How much time are we wasting because we want it to be complicated when it's really quite simple? So on this wonderful Monday, I hope this has helped somebody because it has helped me. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. You are a millionaire, period. It's not difficult and it's not hard. It's hard because we can't comprehend that it could be us to do it. So on this wonderful Monday, I just want to remind you of that. That you have a destiny to fulfill. You have a place to go. You have lives to change. You have millions to make. You have um, a destiny to leave. A legacy to establish. I just need you to be open-minded that you can do it. And it is that simple. There's no other restrictions that go inside of that sentence. Open-minded. To, I, I, to any idea, because it is miraculous, period. There's no buts on there, period. Never close your mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. So we're going to be open to every idea, even the ones that are miraculous, especially those because those are the, if it's a miraculous idea, that means it was specially made for you. And on this wonderful Monday, we're not giving gifts back because that was a gift that was given to you. And we're not giving it back. We're going to say thank you. And I think as women, sometimes brothers too, we don't we don't learn how to take compliments very well. Oh, I love your dress. Girl, this other thing, I just bought it at the... Thank you. They didn't ask you for that. Jesus said, here is the idea. Here is the miracle that I'm, you're about to do. Don't downplay it. Don't... Say thank you and do it. Receive it because it was given to you on purpose for a reason. <laughs> so on this wonderful Monday, can we do that? Can we be open-minded to receive all things? It's going to be a great day. I hope you have an amazing Monday. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. If your friends or family do not have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. They can binge watch all the Fearless Morning Shows over there. Please and thank you. I cannot do this without you. And Miss Leah, is Miss Leah you still on? Miss Leah has a morning show. Miss Leah, what's the name of her? I know she comes on at 6. I'm going to try to catch you, but I sometimes I still be asleep at 6, Miss Leah. If you post your information, Miss Leah on, is on at 6 in the mornings. <clears throat> we all, I cannot be my sister's keeper if I do not want to share with my sister. If I do not want to help my sister. So on this wonderful Monday, we're all on this beautiful journey together. And we're all going places together. So I want you to be peaceful, period, because there's nothing after that. I want you to have an amazing Monday. I want you to not close your mind. I want you to be open-minded today. Allow that thought to come. 
and be excited that you were chosen. You were specifically chosen to do that thought that you were just given. Nobody in the world, you were chosen. Jojo was chosen to be this. Nobody else. Kiba was chosen to do this. Leah was chosen to do this. Nobody else. So we can't be afraid, and I'm guilty, if somebody taking some, they're going to take my thought or my idea. They can't because it wasn't given to them. It was given to me. And even if they take it, it shall not prosper. It wasn't theirs to begin with. That's stealing. So be confident, okay? Be confident in whose you are, who you, whom you are, where you're going, and that at, that idea was given only to you. It wasn't given to, I can't take Kiba Miracle Millions. I can't take it. I can help Kiba, but I can't take away from her because it was never mine to begin with. So on this wonderful Monday, I want you to have an amazing day. I want you to please be peaceful. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. And be open-minded today. Make that list. Write out that list of things that you closed your mind to because you assumed you could not do or have because of your age and or because of your current situation. Write that list out and look at it every day. And, and today is our day one. We're not doing one days no more. Today is our day one. What are we going to do with it? So I hope you have an amazing day. Won't you please be safe. Please make sure you share the show. And I'll see you guys here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.